morning, Barry. Oh, good morning, Sebastian. There's some soup in the kitchen if you'd like some. Oh, wonderful. Morning soup. Yeah, it's a New England style clam chowder. Very ah. chunky, very good. Sounds delicious. You know something, Sebastian? This is What's just that? a fantastic day. I feel great. And I could really use something like that, you know, what with everything that happened with Melissa and everything. But, but you and Margo have been there for me in your own little way, I suppose. And I know that I can be difficult and selfish and, let's face it, downright nasty sometimes. But just today, just this morning, in fact, I finally realized that the world is a truly special place. I love everything in it. This sun, this music, this food, these wonderful friends that I care about so much. I'm so glad that they exist, that I exist. This is really a wonderful day. In fact, it's the first day of the rest of my life. Bear, we're just making some sweet beets. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, what's wrong with Barry? What do you mean? Sebastian, I think he's dead. I don't understand what you're saying, Margo. He has an impulse, he's he's not breathing. I think he died. Did he choke? I don't I don't know. I don't understand. Barry, this about. guy right here, mm -hmm. is dead. Okay. I understand who Barry is. I don't understand what dead is. What did they teach you in that hippie cult? Okay, Friendship Village is not a cult. It's just that no one has ever died at me before. Okay. Death is when someone stops living. <laughs> you can't just stop living. That's like saying a person stopped breathing. That's exactly what I'm saying. You, you never had any pets or grandparents that died? Mm-mm. So, uh, Barry's parents are really nice. Okay, so let me get this straight. My beast friends who are gone uh, live in the same place where Barry lives now. No, Barry, Is that right? Barry doesn't live anywhere. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. dead looks like? Yeah, that's exactly what dead looks like. Business is slow. Tell me about it. Those two girls have been sitting here for three hours and all they ordered are pretzels and water. Can I have my waters? Oh, yeah. Two waters. Thanks for those waters. You're welcome. Hello, ladies. Hello, Greg. <laughs> Looks like you guys just got back from a funeral. Or the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> ah, no, actually it was a funeral. Oh. Our roommate died. Oh, so Margo made a cat die. What? Look, hey, I don't want to judge how you guys mourn or anything, but that's a little... Okay, it was an accident. Don't listen to Sebastian. She doesn't even know about death, do you? I don't know about it, no. Sounds like you have some bad luck, Margo. I don't believe in luck. I'm in control of my own destiny. That's right, you are. Hey. Oh, cool. Oh, you got it. And that is dead. It's probably just stunned. No, you showed me what dead looks like earlier. And that is dead. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not bad luck. Oh, no. It's something else. What is it? Well, my Mexican grandmother. Adopted grandmother. Thanks for bringing that up. You're welcome. My adopted Mexican grandmother used to call it El Pueblo Loco. El Pueblo Loco? El Pueblo Loco. No. 
What does that mean? Well, El Pueblo Loco is Mexican for the Black Curse. Everything and everyone around you is dying. Why am I not dying then? You should ask my Mexican grandmother that with the English to Mexican translator because I didn't have one when I was talking to her and I am not good at communicating with her. I've only known her for two years. become death, destroyer of worlds. because of curses. They die because of, of senescence. Oh my god, are you senescencing? You have to get out of here. Even talking to me right now puts you in danger. <gasps> Wait, if you really are cursed, I think I know how to solve it. The pet cemetery. Don't worry, Margo, I'll save you. The soil of a man's heart is stonier. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator. Excuse me, is this the uh, the haunted Indian burial ground? Um, I think you mean haunted Native American Indian burial ground. Oh, perfect. Okay. Um, so how does this work exactly? I just put the cat in the ground and then I wait for it to come back to life? Uh, I don't think that would work. Cats don't really come back to life after you bury them. Oh. What's in that trash bag? Not a cat. So you're telling me the cemetery doesn't work anymore, huh? The ground's gone sour. And that's why you came out looking this way after they buried you, huh? No one buried me. Really? Because you kind of look like an abomination. I'm not an abomination. Then what are you doing here? I'm having a picnic. I like to have picnics in the cemetery. It relaxes me. To accept death. To celebrate the inevitable. You see, death is the only true guarantee in life. But it's also the worst thing that can befall a man. I know not that I will find love. I know not that I will find happiness but I know I will find a grave. But I must accept that, or else I am as Sisyphus, constantly struggling. There's only malt liquor in here. <laughs> 